Good morning. Today is a very special day. Um, it's my birthday. I can't believe it. And it's also a milestone birthday. It is. I hadn't decided if I was going to share because there is some weird thing that, um, I don't know. It's a big birthday. So do you want people to know this information? But I've decided I do because it is a big deal. I am turning 40. 40, 40. Today, absolutely crazy. I still feel like I'm 25 these days. Um, but I feel so loved and appreciated already this morning. Um, and I thought that what I would do for this vlog is share. Oh, look, see my balloons. There we go. Um, before I turned 40, I was looking to see what is it that most people get or want for their birthday. So I was doing so much Googling and there was lots of different options. There was lots of magazines that said like, this is what you wanted to get or here's some ideas, but nothing seemed to quite fit. And so I, I did take some time to go through and be like, what is it that I really want to commemorate this milestone of a birthday? And things have been trickling in throughout the month that people have been sending to me and I just feel so incredibly loved. So I thought I would share what I've received, what I got um, for my 40th, um, because they all have been things that either I've said in the past that someone just remembered, or I put it on a list and someone purchased, um, but they all mean so much to me and I feel so incredibly special. I've already done my hair and put my makeup on. Um, I don't know why I did my makeup because I am gonna go for my first, first ever facial. Isn't that crazy? My first facial ever. Um, but I'm so excited. I've never been, I don't know what to expect. I've been Googling like crazy, trying to know what do I do? What do I bring? What do I expect? Um, and so yeah, it's just gonna be a very chill day. I took the day off of work so I didn't have to think about what to do with work and also try and remember that today is special for me. So let's, let's go have some fun together. I'm so, so excited to bring you along with me and uh, show you how I celebrate turning 40. Okay, so I went, I went around the house and gathered all the little bits and pieces that have been sent to me over the last month to show you what I received. Um, I'm super excited. So here we go. Um, first thing that came was a candle that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. However, I never felt like it was something that I should buy myself. I felt like someone else needed to buy it for me because it is quite the indulgence. Um, I have had this candle on my wish list for years, like years, probably five years. Um, and no one would buy it for me. But I kept it on there because I was like, I, I assume at some point, someone will figure out that I really, really want this candle. So. Mm -hmm. I feel so special that one of my best friends gave this to me. It's the fig smell and it just smells divine. I'm very, very particular about scents. I don't like anything soapy. I don't like anything that's like over fragranced. I love essential oils and so it can get a little bit tricky when I'm looking for candles and they're mostly fragranced. So she got me this one and it smells so good. I haven't lit it, lit it, lit it yet. <laughs> I haven't ignited, don't know, um, because it actually just feels so special. Um, but maybe, maybe today because today's a special day. So that was the first gift. And if you're looking for a really nice candle or something to give someone as a special something, or you don't know what to put on your own list, highly recommend this one. This I used for the first time last night. It was sent to me in the post by my other really good friend. And um, we have been talking about doing hair masks um, for probably about a month now. And so I've been, doing it as part of my weekly ritual of doing a hair mask every Sunday. And um, she had asked me a couple of weeks ago if I bought the hair mask that she had recommended. And I said, no, because like I mentioned before, I like essential oils. I ended up making my own 
just at home hair mask that seemed to be working. However, she did send me this one in the post. And oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this. It is absolutely amazing. Like I just kind of want to rub, rub it all over my body. It has coconut oil and Palo Santo, which is like the two most strongest scents in this hair mask. Uh, but it's so good. Like just feels luxurious and like you're at a spa all day. Um, my mom surprised me on the weekend and came up. She brought a few things with her and one of them was this unexpected jewelry box from Minicello's, which is a wonderful jeweler in Vancouver. I Anyone who asks me who should I go see, I always say Minicello's because they're wonderful and lovely and have been so kind the few times that I've been in there. My, I sent my mom many, many years ago because she wanted to get a ring made with all of her rings that she had, you know, tucked away in her jewelry box. And one of them was my late grandma's cocktail ring. And she wanted to, you know, melt it down, make it her own. Um, I have borrowed this ring numerous times for weddings and parties. Um, so I had kind of never expected to see it again. However, she surprised me with it and it's this beautiful vintage ring just with some diamonds and it meant it means so much to me I cried I don't ever cry so it was a bit surprising um, and yeah it was I, I just feel so incredibly special that she decided to gift it to me. I no longer need to borrow it. I also never need to worry about never seeing it again because now it's fine. Um, I'll probably wear it tonight because we're going out for dinner. So I'm super excited. It, it doesn't fully fit. It's a bit big. Actually, I just got out of the shower, so it probably fits now. But you can see, like, it's just so... How do I... Ooh, one second. It's like focusing on my face here. There we go. And that's so beautiful. They don't make it like that anymore, but I think Minicellos would probably do a great job. I just dropped it. If you've watched um, some other videos of mine, I think I've, especially in the thrifting haul that I did, I've talked about my love for vintage items or antique items. And my mom knows this, and she found all of these vintage watercolor papers and their blocks as well which is something that I haven't really used before um, they are a bit like weathered a little bit yellow which I think is gonna be so fun to, to paint on but look at this stack she got me isn't that incredible um, yeah so there's just some heavyweight paper for pen charcoal water like it's just my kids also went a little bit crazy because they were like, we can draw. Um, but look at how many blocks there are. This isn't, see, it's a bit, I don't know, it's hard to tell in this, in this light, but it is a bit yellow. But I don't mind. Like, you can kind of see how yellow that is. I think it's going to be so fun to kind of paint on, experiment with. This is another block, especially large scale like this. And also all the different textures. Like, I feel like... This is almost something that I use to get these different uh, canvas textures or paper textures is something that I use more in Procreate when I'm doing my digital work. Um, it hasn't really been something that I've experimented with with my watercolors. Um, the old school look and feel of everything. Like, look how dusty that is. I need to desperately wash my hands after this. Um, this one I'm really excited about. I've always wanted to try this paper, but whenever I go to the shops, I'm like, I don't really want to spend, you know, $150 on some paper that I don't really know if I'll like. But even more exciting is it's also black. And I bought some black paper the last time I went to the art store when we were in Vancouver, and I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm just, I'm thrilled to have all these different mediums to to paint on all the different textures to figure out how this is all going to play. Also, I haven't played a lot with Bristol board, which I think is going to be really exciting. I did a course, um, I think it was earlier this year, and they were talking about Bristol board. Like you can see, there's a bit of damage on there, but it's okay. 
it's going to work. Um, and then again, this one that has like really, really strong paper textures. I'm so curious because I know when you're doing artwork and then scanning it and wanting to put it digitally for prints or whatever, this type of, this texture of a paper isn't always the best. So we will have to play and figure out how to use all these pieces. Last but not least, the gift from my family was something I put on my list along with a lot of other things. I wanted something to, to commemorate this milestone of turning 40. When I turned 30, my family bought me a beautiful Tiffany pearl bracelet that I still have, still wear. Um, chose not to wear it today, I don't know why, but um, maybe I'll go switch this out. Um, so I knew I wanted something on the same level, something that I'll have for a very, very long time, something that I'll just keep and treasure and maybe one day pass on, I don't know. Um, so I made a list of items like that, of things that I knew that I would want forever. And so, they surprised me this morning with this beautiful Yves Saint Laurent envelope clutch slash crossbody. And I just feel so loved. Like I will have this forever, 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 forever. I will never get rid of it. It is a classic, it's traditional. Um, and it's so my style and so me. And I never have to worry about it going out of style or trend because I rarely ever follow trends anyway, so I'm so excited. I know there's a few other things that people have mentioned that they ordered and got lost in the post. That's what happens when you live in a small town. Things take forever to get here. Um, so I don't mind though, because it just makes birthday month that more exciting. And woo, I'm super excited for all of the things to come in. I don't think there's that much more anyways, probably just one or two things, but I just feel so so lovely to feel loved like that um so i now to need to pack up the rest of my things to get ready for my facial which i'll take you with so i have to make sure i don't know i don't know what to expect um but yeah i'm so excited so those were the things that i got for my birthday so far we'll see if anything else happens to show up today that i'm not expecting yet um so let's enjoy the rest of our day together Dress for work. <laughs> All right, off I go. I'm so excited about this facial. One thing that I've been really focusing on this year, and by this year I mean 2022, is I'm turning 40, and yes, it's milestone birthday, but it's kind of like it's weird when you turn 40. Suddenly you're like, wow, the the end is near, and what am, what am I gonna do um, for the rest of my life to make sure that I am like, just at my ultimate self, always, to make sure that, you know, I'm living very, I'm living healthy, I'm strong, you know, about vitality, like how am I going to make sure that I live as long as I possibly can, knowing that I'm doing everything possible to make that happen um, so that is what I've been really concentrating on this year and you know I, people call it a glow up let's say um, I don't know if it's necessarily a glow up because I feel quite radiant anyways however I just want to make sure that everything that I'm doing is for my ultimate self and going to make me happy in the long run so, for example, making sure that I'm going in and getting my massages regularly so that like all of my shoulders, everything just feels relaxed and good. Um, also, why I'm getting a facial, why I'm doing my hair treatments every week and making sure that I'm focusing on myself. I've also upped my workout regime. It's something that I've always kind of done on and off and whatnot. But this, like this year, I'm like, no, like I can't. I want to be strong for the rest of my life and to do that means that I need to be I need to just keep it up and so that so I feel like this year is just really focusing in on being consistent with the 
things that are going to give me a really great return in the long run. So like, even though the short term gain is, <laughs> what's the word? The short term gain is like mundane. It's not exciting. It doesn't feel fun. It's just to focus on the long term game is like, I am doing this so that in 20 years, I still feel amazing about myself. I know that I've, I've taken care, really good care of myself. And I don't know what then what is going to bring and I know like you cannot guarantee that doing all these things are gonna make sure make sure you don't fall off um you know you cannot guarantee that nothing will happen but I just want to make sure that when I look at my life and what I'm doing and focusing on it's like this is for my ultimate self my happiness and longevity and vitality those are the things that I want to make sure that I'm constantly focusing on. Um, so yeah, that those are my thoughts as I turn 40 is what am I doing to make sure that I make it to 80, that I make it to 90, you know, 100. I don't know. Maybe I'll be one of those Guinness World Book Record breakers. Make it to 120. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, I am on my way. I'm passing by all the vineyards. Honestly, this spot is five minutes away from my house. Um, and I could have walked. However, I, that's not how I wanted to show up at the spot. I wanted to show up dressed really nicely, not sweating. So that is why I chose to drive. You know? Because it makes me happy. It makes me feel good to show up like this. So I'm at the desert spa in Asoyas. Look at those doors. Love the finish on that. Just finished my facial and wow. I feel like a whole new person. I don't even know how to describe it. It was so relaxing, it was so good. Highly recommend. I think I'm going to have this as part of my, I don't know, monthly routine or something. I don't know, I have to fix it way more often because it just feels so good. Look at it. This face is like glowing and like vibrant. And then we are going for lunch here at, what's it called? The Bear, the Fish, the Root, and the Berry. It's this really nice restaurant that is a hotel here. So we're going to meet Adam for lunch and then we'll see what happens after that. shortly from school and there's a little shop in town that I wanted to pop into and see if they have anything cute to, to celebrate for today um, so I'm gonna jump in see if I can find anything really really fast if you're a mom you totally understand this can be done <laughs> or twice before and the stuff is cute it's just not my style and that is the hardest 
thing when I'm trying to find clothes or decor items or anything. It, um, it's, it's tough because I do have a very particular sense of style and I love it and I appreciate it and it is so me. However, it does mean it makes it hard to find items that I really like, that I'm willing to part ways with my money and bring it home with me. So on one hand, it's frustrating because I'm in the mood to shop, um, but at the other hand, it just I always end up, um, what's the word? I'm very intentional about the things that I purchase. I'm not just buying for the sake of buying it. I, if I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm, I don't feel obligated to buy something just for the sake of doing it. Um, so on one hand, it's good because then I'm not parting money, parting with my money for no reason. I'm parting my money when like something is really important and valuable to me. So it looks like my kitties are out from school. So let's go get them. Hello. I'm gonna, I made a leprechaun trap and if I catch one, I'm gonna, okay, why am I waving? You're waving to yourself. Well, if I catch a leprechaun, I'm going to keep it as a trap, uh, a pet. Yeah. So why are we getting a little treat? Anyone know? Mm -hmm. Me neither. I think it's because it's my birthday, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot, Mama. This is, I hopefully, this is the one we saw last time. Uh, I'll see if they're open. You never know. Back home, kids are picked up and just want to say it doesn't matter if it's your birthday or not. There's still the everyday mundane things that still have to get done. So going to do some laundry. I wasn't really hoping to do this on my birthday, but has to get done. Off we go. Good evening. We have now entered into the birthday dinner and I threw on a very simple knit dress. Ooh, I need my belt. One second. Okay, grabbed my Amazon belt. Simple knit dress from Evernew. And I did put on my ring. I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy. A quick change, nothing crazy. Um, I'll try and put like a little thing of my full outfit if I can get it done in time before we leave. Good morning. As I was editing the video, I realized probably not the best place to drop it off because I didn't really end it on a scene or really kind of wrap it all up. So here I am next morning, fresh faced, ready to do my workout um, and thought I would share one, my thoughts about the facial more than I've already included 
and it's that I love it my face looks so clear and like plump and I don't know there's definitely some you know blemishes that have come through um, from the process but I don't mind like everything else just looks amazing like this is zero makeup nothing on I just wash my face really quickly after waking up and I'm so happy with it um, so that and then dinner last night was really, really lovely. We just went to a local restaurant and had some, a nice bottle of wine, some simple um, like farm to table food uh, to share and um, just really, really great conversation. Just to kind of wrap up the whole day, I felt so loved, so appreciated, just very much in my own element as well. I'm just doing all the things that I enjoy doing and just keeping calm and peaceful. And it was just a very, very lovely 40th birthday. So I am now officially part of the 40 year old club. And that feels very, very weird, very, very odd. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, we'll see what the next couple of years bring. But as you can see, I am in my gym. Um, because, like I mentioned, I want to keep doing the things consistently for my future. And so, here I am, my first day as an official 40-year-old, making sure that um, I stay strong. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, uh, press the like button, leave a comment. If you made it this far, um, throw a celebrate in the comments. I would love to see it and get to know who you are and why you watch my videos. Thank you. Bye.